So it seems that healthcare is a popular subject, so today we will be looking at the options for foreigners and retirees in the Philippines. Towards the end, I will be answering some common questions, but if there is a question that I haven't answered or you wish me to dive into a subject, please let me know in the comments. Oh, by the way, I've added some additional links in the description with comparisons, terms and other information. So let's have a look at the first option. Feel health. If you've never come across PhilHealth before, the program is the National Health Insurance System for the Philippines, which aims to offer affordable health insurance services for citizens. PhilHealth has accepted foreign members to its program for a few years now. The current terms state that foreigners who have a retirement visa or an alien certificate of registration card can apply. If you have a retirement visa, the annual premium contribution rate is set at 15,000 pesos. However, if you have an alien certificate of registration card, the annual premium contribution rate will be set at 17,000 pesos. Some insurance plans will cover you if your spouse is Filipino, however, PhilHealth does not cover this. Therefore, as a foreigner looking for health insurance in the Philippines, you will need to become a member individually. To become a member of PhilHealth, you will need to visit one of the local insurance offices, complete the member registration form, pay the contribution fee, and finally set up any future payments which can be monthly, quarterly, semi-annually, or annually. AXA Medical Plan AXA has three main options, critical illness cover, medical coverage, and health and investment. Looking through the terms and conditions, for foreigners who are in the Philippines, it appears that the most suitable service would be the general medical coverage. However, depending on your circumstances, you may find that other options are more suitable. However, for the purpose of this video, we will be focusing on the most relevant, which is general medical cover. This premium plan covers members from 500,000 pesos to 5 million pesos. AXA is one of the more expensive plans, however, it does offer many features and and ease of access for foreigners who are looking for health insurance in the Philippines. Sun Life Fit and Well The most common insurance package with Sun Life is Sun Life Fit and Well. This plan offers critical insurance and life insurance benefits until the age of 100. The terms and conditions state that they can diagnose 64 major critical illnesses, 34 minor illnesses and 10 specific cancer conditions within the plan. Similar to AXA, Prices do differ person to person, however, they do have many online advisors and also several offices. Foreign members will even need to have a retirement visa, an ACR card or a work permit to apply. Cigna. Cigna is best if you seek health insurance in the Philippines before arriving in the country. Cigna offer four plans in total. These include silver, gold, platinum, and close care. Silver, gold, and platinum plans cover worldwide insurance excluding the US. However, the close care plan covers country of residence plus country of nationality. As a 65 year old, I was quoted $350 per month, so it is expensive. However, the monthly price decreases slightly if you are willing to cost share. So now let's take a look at some common questions. Are there other health insurance companies in the Philippines for foreigners? Yes, there are. For the purpose of this video, I emailed all the providers which I could find which did not have information about foreign membership. Some companies replied with a quotation, but their price was too high for the service that they offered. Others simply did not email back. So today's list were the companies with either the best service or the best price. Should I purchase insurance before moving to the Philippines? There are pros and cons to both, but if you are looking to save money, then purchasing locally when you're in the Philippines will always be the best option. Can I use my health plan as an investment while I'm not using it? Yes, absolutely. Some companies have investment options. This is a big topic, so please let me know in the comments if you wish me to cover this in more detail. Is health insurance mandatory? Health insurance is not mandatory, but with the ongoing pandemic and other developments, there may be some kind of coverage needed in the future. But in terms of health insurance only, this is not mandatory. How do I start? With the majority of health plans in the Philippines, quotations are available online. From there, you can sign up on the web or visit an office similar to the process of PhilHealth. 